Technology has come a long way in helping to forecast the weather from massive weather modeling computers crunching numbers four times a day to more simpler ways of forecasting, like reading the Almanac. It's North America's most popular reference guide and oldest continuously published periodical. First published in 1792 during George Washington's first term as a president. And costing only nine cents back then, the Old Farmer's Almanac claims to use a complex series of natural cycles to devise a secret weather forecasting formula. And that formula is kept safely tucked away in a black tin box at the Almanac offices in Dublin, New Hampshire. Now it's got a little of everything inside of it, from tide tables to sunrise and planning charts, even recipes, and of course, weather forecasts. Some are firm believers. I think it's been around for a long time, and it's still a good seller, so must be accurate 85, 87% of the time. But many are not. This is, it has no technology to it. To me, it's like a fortune cookie. You read it, you play the numbers, you might win, you might not. It's the same way with the Almanac. So. I think they must have some real good forecasters if they can do it a year in advance. Uh, so I, I question that a little bit. I haven't picked that book up in 10 years, so it's, uh, you know, it's hogwash. But don't say that to Gary Bassnett. I'm a very big believer in it. Gary's been planning about the Almanac for years. It shows you the weather here, and it's very, very close. I always try to plant according to what the Almanac suggests. And Gary's built up quite the garden over the years using the Almanac. Now, I've got some blackberries here. I've got this arch mm -hmm. right here, okay. and uh, i got uh, thornless blackberries, and I have uh, raspberries. According to Gary, he's got some simple advice for you. To save time and all, Take time, buy you an almanac, <laughs> and uh, look at it and see what it has okay. to say. Now in a whole different way to forecast, Mindy Holcomb uses her shoulder. I was in a pretty bad car accident several years ago. I was rear-ended and, and the seat belt caught me, which in turn injured my shoulder. When a front comes in, I can tell. And sometimes if it's a big front, it will actually hurt worse than if it's a smaller front. But Mindy makes the best of our newfound forecasting abilities. I, I know whenever it's, it starts to hurt pretty good, I'll call my storm chasing buddy and say, hey, you know, we're, this is gonna be a good one. Whether you use the almanac or your bones to help make your forecast, we're all just trying to do our very best to predict what mother nature may throw at us next.